Hey everybody, welcome to another uh, video about some vintage audio and visual equipment in this case. And today I've got an interesting find. This is the Duquesne Model 28A60A VP-Matic Audio-Visual Presentation System. <laughs> I'll call it that. Uh, this was used in education to uh, show film strips with audio to uh, a small group of students. It was also used a lot in the uh, in the business world, and if you ever went to like a trade show or perhaps a, uh, a, a show in at your local high school gym, where all your businesses would get together and, and have their items for sale in one big expo environment, many times this was used to display the product or uh, try to sell the product. An audiovisual presentation was there, repeated over and over and over again during the uh, during the show. Uh, it goes back to 1980, and I got it from a nonprofit organization here in town, who was uh, they were cleaning out their basement and said, "We want to get rid of this thing. We don't use it anymore. It's obsolete." And luckily, there was actually a film strip presentation with cassette in the system at the time. So I will actually not only show you the parts of this system, but I will also show you how it works and what it looked like in case you ever never saw something like this before. So let's take a look at some of the uh, the features first and then we'll watch our film strip presentation. So this was used, as I said, for a audio visual presentation, uh, a slide presentation with audio uh, narration. And as you can see, it's a standard cassette system with the stop eject button, play, rewind, fast forward, and pause. Uh, this ejects. The mechanism is on the top, so the cassette would go like this. And this is the cassette that came with this unit. You just pop it right in there and close it up. One thing I will show you if I can zoom in a little closer and uh, move my camera slightly is that this cassette system only has one head. It does not have a record head or an erase head, just a playback head. So this is only designed to play back the cassette. Here's where many of the uh, controls are located. Your off button, obviously. Audio, which means you can listen to the cassette. And then lamp, which turned on the uh, projection system. So you could actually listen to cassettes on this if you wanted to, all by itself. Uh, obviously it was designed for an audio-visual experience, so that's something that very rarely happened. Here's the rewind and fast-forwarding of your film strip. And I'll show you how that works in a little bit. The volume control. And there's a, a headphone jack. This is a power light. This might have been optional <laughs> equipment number one that they didn't get or something like that. And this is interesting. This is the viewer projector, projection option. The viewer is the front of the screen here. And I'll pan up a little bit for you if I can do that. That's the viewer part. But this also gave you the option of projecting the audiovisual presentation, or the visual part of it, obviously, onto a screen. And I'll show you how that worked in just a little bit. All right, now let's focus on the projection part, the, the film strip part. Uh, this little middle part has a, a little latch, and you pull it down, and that's where your film strip goes. I'm going to pan down and zoom in a little bit if I can here and uh, do a little focusing so you can kind of read that better. This gives you a little quick, you know, uh, instructions on how to do it. It just kind of clips into this little plastic holder here. And then it goes through the little slot there and goes in the back. And I, I'm, uh, there's a caution thing here that says, Film strip must be removed before inserting new film. So I'm not sure what that even means. Does it mean, please sure and take the old film strip out before you put the next one in? <laughs> I don't know. 
in any event, that's how you thread it in there, and it seems to be fairly simple. And here's the uh, the right side of this uh, device, this unit. I'm going to zoom in a little bit if I can to show you the other features here. There's a focus feature, which you can use when you have uh, the film strip in there. This must be some auto manual frame advancement device. There's a remote control, and then it's a few other things I don't I don't quite understand. Maybe these were options that didn't come with this particular model, um, but this allowed you to uh, to do a a manual advancement of the uh, film strip, or uh, using a remote control to advance the film strip. And here's a quick look at the back of it. Here's where the film strip comes out. And this is where the projector is, where uh, you can project this film strip to a movie screen uh, as opposed to using the viewer in the front of the uh, device. And here's the bottom of it. Uh, you'll see that it's got the model number and a few other things on there, serial number, and the date of manufacture, which was January, or I should say June 9th of 1983. So this goes back to the 80s. There's a... Uh, Adjustment for the front of the of the device so you can tilt it up a little bit if you want or tilt it down And this also kind of gives you a little look at what's happening in here as far as the guts of the unit uh, Looks like there's a fuse right there, which is nice This turns the fan on you know see if I can't zoom in a little bit here To show you how this is going to go when you turn the lamp on The lamp is here it bounces off a mirror, actually looks like a couple of mirrors, and this will determine whether you're going to be displaying on the front of the display, the front display, or the projector. When I move, to, move it to projector mode, you'll notice that it moves and then reflects the picture to the projector, which is now projecting into the... Uh, <laughs> base of the table here basically so once I get this put back up again we will uh, watch our presentation or at least a little bit of it using the the front viewer of this uh, projector as I said the um, the unit came with a film strip and a cassette presentation and the cassette is right here this is from the Catholic Knights Insurance Society I'm not sure if you can read that or not this is from Milwaukee insurance company out of Milwaukee it's now called the Catholic Financial Life Insurance Company. And the label came off. That's how old this is. Uh, so what you do is you put it in. I have the film strip all threaded. I want to fast forward the film strip to this. Right here where you can focus. Get it to a nice focus. Looks pretty good. Now it says advance to black frame. So I hit fast forward and I start the cassette. There we go. of men founded the Order of Catholic Knights of Wisconsin. Today, that organization is called the Catholic Knights Insurance Society. It is the second largest Catholic fraternal insurance society in North America and bases its strong and continued growth on the simple premise of Catholics providing reasonably priced insurance for Catholics through a nonprofit organization. Life insurance means different things to different people. But its greatest value has always been to provide security. When you buy life insurance, you're not buying it for yourself, but for your wife and for your children. Because the Catholic Knights Insurance Society is nonprofit and owned by its members, it can offer special benefits not provided by other life insurance companies. One special feature is the orphan's benefit. This means that in addition to the face value of a policy, Catholic Knights will give every child in the family a monthly income from the day he becomes an orphan until he is eight. And uh, on it goes. <laughs> I will spare you the rest. Um, the final conclusion is buy life insurance. 
and this particular uh, presentation uses good old Catholic guilt to get you to do that. Uh, okay, I'm going to jump off the soapbox now. Uh, as you noticed, there were no audible beeps between uh, changes in the slide presentation. And one thing I noticed when I first put this uh, cassette into this, the machine here is I had it in the wrong play, in the wrong way. I had it flipped over, so when I hit play, I hear this. Interesting, huh? That is the, obviously, the audio track that the projector hears and it knows when to advance the slide. So this playback head is looking at both halves of the cassette. And obviously, as you know with cassettes, your playback head will read half the cassette, you flip it over and then it listens to the other side and plays that. This head is listening to everything and the advanced beeping track it listens to, the other part it doesn't listen to. The speaker only plays back the audio track, it does not play back the beep track, if you will. So it's pretty cool how that works. Now I mentioned earlier too that this has an option of using the viewer or the projector to show the uh, slide presentation. So I'm going to take this and flip it to projector. This goes dark and I don't think you can see it very well, but there you go. That's the slide presentation. Now if I hit play on the cassette the deck, is the orphan let's thing. see what happens here. This means that in addition to the face value of a policy, Catholic Knights will give every child in the family a monthly income from the day he becomes an orphan until he is 18 and even longer if he is a full-time college student. One All right, there you go. That's the Duquesne VP-Matic Model 28A60A audio-visual projector uh, system. Made back in 1983 by Duquesne in this case. Duquesne, by the way, is a rather interesting company. If you want to look it up, uh, go to duquesne.com and look up their history. It's kind of cool. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like it. Subscribe to my channel for uh, updates on other stuff that I'll be talking about and showing you, and thanks for viewing.